Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about uh, Tennessee and name, image, and likeness, and now we're going to be discussing FUBU TV um, suing Disney, Fox, Warner Brothers, and others, alleging uh, anti-competitive -comp uh, practices. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fire away, Faith. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I honestly forgot about Fubu TV. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I had a listen. I had to I look up Fubu TV. You didn't know what it was. <laughs> that, I have seen like you know how you're going through on your smart TV and you're looking for different apps for movies and things like that. Yeah. So I've passed by Fubu TV, mm -hmm. but I didn't really even realize it was a real <laughs> thing. Right. Boo -boo. I forgot about it. Uh, one of my roommates Boo -boo used to have, TV. One of my roommates used to have Fubu. So like, if we were at Ooh, the what? house for sports, so we would watch the Georgia game on Fubu. If we were like at home and didn't go to wow, the game. I didn't know they made those kind of people. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but I honestly forgot about it until you until I saw this stuff, and then I was like, oh yeah, I forgot there already is a sports stream. <laughs> Okay, so okay, I I had to I actually had to dive in and find out who the heck Fubu TV was because I literally I just seen the app mm -hmm. and I didn't even know they had sports. I I thought maybe let's say maybe they had like you know I don't know underwater underwater basket weaving <laughs> <laughs> something like that. I didn't. So they actually had like real like NFL and. And I I don't know about NFL, but I did watch a couple college football games on Fubu. So yes, they have. Wow, they have sports. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get my subscription, as you can tell, because I I did not know. So well, what I is, what found is... out it's a little pricey. So I didn't know how expensive it was. It's a little pricey. So <laughs> well, now it won't be pricey. They got they got real competition now. Yeah. Okay. So, so, what did it say about this? What does it say in here? Let me let me hear about so, this. So, Fubu TV, a live TV streaming platform, has launched a civil lawsuit against Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery, alleging that the media companies have engaged in anti-competitive practices for years, and they are continuing to do so through combined sports streaming app they intend to launch later this year. Um, the lawsuit filed in federal court in the Southern District of New York also names ESPN and Hulu as defendants. In the suit, FUBU TV, which has been in business since 2015, alleges that the companies have engaged in a campaign that has resulted in suppressed suppress competition in the U.S. sports-focused streaming market, causing harm to FUBU TV and its customers, and the company's latest joint venture will continue to suppress competition. Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery announced this month that they will be collaborating to launch a direct-to-consumer streaming app that will allow customers to pay for access to all the sports they broadcast across 14 combined linear channels. Um, FUBU TV says the companies have forced, forced it to accept bundling requirements to be able to broadcast certain content and impose, imposed licensing fees above the market rate, which has led to higher prices for consumers. The company's behavior, FUBU TV said in the lawsuit, was a way to uh, stymie FUBU's business and growth. So... Mm. Um, but like I said before, while reading this, I found out. So the joint streaming platform that uh, Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers want to do, they said it monthly would be uh, in somewhere between thirty to fifty dollars a month. Um, they can have my. They can have my thirty to fifty dollars. I'll sign it for that sucker Fubu, right now. <laughs> Fubu <laughs> TV charges eighty dollars a month. Is, who are these people on FUBU TV? <laughs> I don't know anyone on FUBU. I, I mean... I know one person. <laughs> I'm saying, granted, I've been in the U.S. a long time. I don't know, not one mm. person in the U.S. I don't know one person in Europe. I don't even know one person in Africa either. <laughs> That's probably why Nobody. they're upset because they're, you know, they've been at it for almost 10 years and not a lot of people know and they got two subscribers there. faith's and... friend <laughs> and and the ceo's mama that's it that's their only but and there's so a but upset, to this faith you know 
when you were reading this to me and I was looking at this and I'm like, ooh, they got a point. They do have a valid point. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they got two subscribers, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Here, while I you're swear talking, to you. I'm going to see how many people subscribe to it. And, and you it. can't be talking about Aunt Becky either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. This new streaming app is a monopoly. Mm -hmm. You're Absolutely. taking the largest sports networks, the one that the networks that all have all the live sports and they're saying, hey, we're going to come together and put every all of our stuff on one app. Mm -hmm. And in order to get you, you have to watch it on the on our app. Well, one, why would you even go to Fubo TV? <laughs> we didn't go to Fubo TV now. Yeah. I, the first thing I said when I heard about this, the first thing, so many people since this has come out, like, I'm buying it. I don't even care how much it is. It doesn't mm -hmm. even matter. Just swipe my card. Here you go. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to watch it. And for anyone that's trying to come out, how are you going to compete with that? Yeah. Fox, Hulu. ESPN, Disney, it's all there under one app. Mm -hmm. That's that's for one one app, one low one low price corners the market, and there is no more competition. If those guys all think about it, if those guys all come together, they're all there. That's one, two, three. The top. Uh, networks who spend the most money on live sports they all come together the consumer loses yeah it's okay if fox sports has theirs and and espn has theirs and hulu has theirs and you got and you know you have to have this app and this app it's, mm -hmm. there's competition there's competition which keeps the companies working harder for your business mm -hmm. makes it so that hey i want to watch the big 10 i'm gonna go to the i gotta go to the fox sports app i know i'm i'm an sec girl oh mm -hmm. i gotta i gotta go to the espn disney app mm -hmm. but no big 10 acc they got different contracts but they're all under one app now why mm -hmm. you know you can catch the georgia game and the Michigan game on one app, it's over. And and FUBU TV, who not only has to get the rights to, to these shows, but now, hey, we gotta buy these rights and then we gotta mark them up. And our markup is going to be less than, than what we're buying it for. So why would anyone drop 80, Ninety dollars on Fubu TV when you can get it for forty nine or thirty nine dollars. Right. Okay. So they're not they're not wrong on their on their claim. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? I found um, subscribers. This. Period. Okay. And please so, let me hear this. Um, as of November of twenty twenty three, Fubu TV has about one point nine million paying subscribers globally. Whoa including about 1.5 million in North America. Um, FUBU offers what? at least 175 live channels and other features. So, Who are y'all? Where are y'all? Are y'all like in Oklahoma somewhere? Where are they? <laughs> they got a, these FUBU subscribers. <laughs> I don't know uh, anyone. I know people all around the country. I don't uh, And I'm a sports guy. Right. I don't know anyone that, you, in fact, you're the first person I've met that, you know, it's like, I need degrees of separation to find a FUBU subscriber. I know Faith, <laughs> Faith knows Becky. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Faith knows Becky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who whose cousin mama has FUBU TV that can catch the Georgia game. Mm -hmm. I, 
Wow. So I, I well, you know what? There's a market there for them. <laughs> and do you so, see? So I mean, if there's if they have 1.9 million subscribers globally, it makes sense as to why they're so upset about. Of this course. Much as my little 1.9 million subscribers, they're paying 89, and they can go directly to the companies that own the that own the rights to these shows and get mm -hmm. it for half the price. Right. Bye bye, food. Listen, if you couldn't find a Fubu subscriber now, then imagine <laughs> yeah, what it's gonna, gonna be when that app comes out. Better. Yeah, that is it. Like I said, cancel Christmas. It is over. <laughs> <laughs> There will be no Christmas yeah. at, at Fubu TV because why are you going to pay eighty nine to get a the rebroadcast of the broadcast mm -hmm. yeah. when you you can get it? No. Um, do not. Would it shock me that a judge just says this is a monopoly and mm -hmm. not allow it? It would not surprise me because they have a valid valid claim. It's when you, it's not about what, you know, I like this whole concept of the app. Yeah. And I, w I would, I'm definitely getting the service. But if someone told me that it went away, there was a court injunction that stopped it and everything, it would not surprise me because this is kind of the definition of what a monopoly uh what a monopoly is trying to fight against now the the defense of that is hey anyone can go out and bid for these sports games these sports events or we are not in a monopoly we just focus we're just this app just focuses on sports we're not touching movies we're not touching television we're not touching this this and this and maybe that would be their defense but there is room for this lawsuit and it truly does come down to what kind of what judge you see and where that and where where it's being held where you see it because if you step back it is truly this new app is going to be a sports monopoly mm -hmm. yep you, you know they, they, when you when you break it down it's a sports monopoly i yeah. hope y'all you know but some monopolies are good for the general public and there could be an exception that is done you know where hey it's good for the it's good for the american people so we're going to allow it and if they and you know so it's it's this like there it is <laughs> it's going to be uh <laughs> Work, you know, like Major League Baseball. I believe Major League Baseball and it, I think, are considered a monopoly. You know, you there's lots of monopolies out there mm -hmm. that are legal. And, you know, will they just either ignore it and just put it under a whole broad, broadcast umbrella? Because if they just look at it on a, on a smaller, just on live sports, this it's a monopoly. Yeah. Um, Interesting. And FUBU is asking the courts for a permanent injunction to prevent the joint venture from operating. So, yeah, uh, trying to be like, <laughs> cut it. Listen, cut it. You had you. They're they're trying. They're trying before. You know, you having a, a Super Bowl party and your neighbor gonna do this big old Super Bowl party. You're just trying to shut down their Super Bowl party <laughs> so you can yours can keep keep going. Yeah. They're just trying they're not they're not trying to get no money. They're just like, just leave that alone. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess I can see how wow. The fact that I didn't know enough about Fubu to even know it existed is I'm sure now if the this if they win and the the joint streaming service doesn't pan out. You can you can subscribe to Fubu and get the same thing. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can get Fubu. No. Here. And... Yeah, no, it's you can it? glo it's globally. You can do it global. Are you sure? Because different countries have different rules. I get it's them all this... anyway. I I you know it's called VPN. Just gonna keep it Ooh, real with you. You're telling on yourself <laughs> right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> a brother got a VPN. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but <laughs> it said subscribers globally, so I don't know what globally means, but you can get it yeah. other than the United States. So globally, it could be the U.S. and Canada. <laughs> That's, <both laughs> That's true. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't know, but yes, there are some. So I'm I'm very curious on this one. This yeah. this is one I will. I will definitely keep an eye on this one because I mm. want to see how it turns out. Yep. So. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Y'all are money, money, money. Y'all are just yeah. worried about money. <laughs> see, I, I'm, this whole this whole day is kind of weird for me because I keep looking around and I'm not look, used to looking at my office. So I'm looking over at the little statues and I see the <laughs> GSMC basketball podcast over there. So I'm peeping over there and things. It's just weird having this view. Mm. all right guys well we're gonna take a quick <laughs> You're like, break mm, okay let's move mm, on, on. <laughs> <laughs> uh when we come back we're gonna dive into our oddities of the day